Hello, I'm Lewis from DIY Machines and I'm going to explain to you a bit about the TCRT 5000 optical reflective sensor. What does it look like? This is a TCRT 5000. You'll often see it on a board alongside an LM393 and adjustable potentiometer. What can it be used for? It can be used to detect the presence or absence of a reflective object, such as the presence of a coin, or to check the color of something on a black to white scale, useful for a line following robot. How does it work? The TCRT5000 itself works by transmitting infrared light from the LED and registering any reflected light on its phototransistor. This alters the flow of current between its emitter and collector according to the level of light it receives. There are a couple of features to note. One is this piece of plastic here that acts as a shield between the transmitter and receiver. The second is that this phototransistor is covered in a finish that only allows infrared light to pass through. This prevents other light sources from interfering with our readings. This board you'll often find it on includes other components to help increase its ease of use. Alongside the TCRT5000, you'll also find a voltage comparator chip in the form of this LM393 and a potentiometer to adjust its sensitivity. It presents us with four pins, VCC, ground, D0 and A0. We supply a working voltage between 3.3 and 5 volts through the VCC and ground pins. And we receive our sensor data through either of the two remaining pins. This mini make will demonstrate both the analog and digital pins. Assemble the circuit as shown and then upload the code provided in the link below to your Arduino Uno. Open the serial monitor and watch what happens as you move a reflective object closer to the sensor. The serial monitor is printing out the reading from the analog sensor. The onboard LEDs on both the Arduino board and the sensor board are showing the state of the reading from the digital pin. The digital pin is either high, on, or low, off. When the board is powered and not enough infrared light is received, the digital pin will be high. And when the trigger level set by the potentiometer is passed, the digital pin is then set to low. One major drawback of this sensor is that it can be easily affected by environmental conditions. Any other source of infrared light, such as sunlight or house lights, are also detected by the sensor and can interfere with the readings. This effect can be limited with some clever code, such as some noise cancellation scripts, or by briefly turning off the transmitting LED, taking a background reading of the level of environmental infrared, and turning the LED on, and then registering the difference in levels. Thank you for watching. If you found it useful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Until next time, ciao for now.